Hi! Hi! Welcome! And today, I found myself, actually I'm not gonna say, I purposely went to Trader Joe's because I wanted to pick up some fall items because fall is approaching. Fall's approaching, or it's already here, depending on maybe your location. Um, it's still pretty warm here in the city, but I'm thankful for that because I'm gonna be in the summer. But fall foods make me a little more excited about the fall time. So I'm just gonna show you what I got when I went to TJ's. And if you're wondering who I am, I've never seen that thing before. Hi, my name is Madison, but you know, um, normal people, friends, call me Maddie. So I'm really glad you're here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, hit that subscribe button. Give it a big thumbs up if you're into that. And also, I have a blog. If you're interested, check it out. I'll have it linked down below. You know what, Maddie, just stop talking and let's get into the goodies. First thing I picked up were Trader Joe's mini hold the cone ice cream cones and the pumpkin ginger flavor. Now, I've heard good things about the hold the cones. I've never had them before any flavor whatsoever, but I thought a good time to try them would be with the pumpkin season. So, sorry, my consistent sews. Let's test it out. This is what they look like. They're really adorable. They're small. So, you know, you're just getting a small snack. You might go in for a few and hey, no shame, I would do the same. It's a gingery cone filled with pumpkin ice cream and a white confectioner coating. So I'm really excited. That's really good. <laughs> wow. If you've had the Trader Joe's pumpkin ice cream, obviously it's incredible. I mean, it's, I think it's incredible. So you're getting that. The ginger cone is similar to a um, ginger snap cookie also really great and then the dip top it's just that little sweet punch i would give this a nine well i don't really know what 10 is because i guess like 10 would be like satisfying my taste buds completely so it's a 10. oh good wow i would eat this whole thing all right next we have some halloween jojo cookies i didn't get the pumpkin ones i'm well aware they because truthfully I just like Oreos and or sorry Trader Joe's Oreos Jojo's and I knew I would eat them I would have a better chance of eating them if they were like normal flavors just a fun color and shape so first off they have a cute little pumpkin you know oh my bad Sorry. Wow. The icing is really good. Like the center. I hope I don't have orange on my teeth. That would be awkward. I feel like you're really far away from me. Maybe I should put you closer. <laughs> okay. The fat bed. It doesn't taste like an Oreo. I mean, obviously it's sugar. It's called a Jojo. But the cookie of an Oreo, I think, is slightly different. But these are still really good, and I would eat the box with some milk, of course. Milk is so good for you, so, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm giving them a 9 out of 10. You know what I think, though? As much as I said that I made a mess, as much as I said the icing was delicious, the thins, amazing. Wow, we just got real close. Moving on. This I can't really discuss right now. Or should I say these two next, these two items. I can't discuss at the moment because I haven't tried them. It's the Autumnal. Autumnal? I didn't realize it said that. I thought it said Autumn. Autumnal. Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. It's made with uh, uh, pumpkin and butternut squash. And the next is the fall. <sighs> I didn't do well in the school, so I'm going to butcher this. But it's like Zucchetti. Or is it like Zucca Petty? Zucchitti. Zucchitti. Okay, I'm really sorry. Pasta. It's butternut squash. Next. Oh, these are incredible. The pumpkin rolls. They're delicious. That's all I can say. Incredible. 
Oh, I didn't even, I, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. They're amazing. Next, oh, you do not want to see my chocolate cookie daughter. <laughs> these are pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookies. Also had these last year. These are very good. Very good. They are obviously like a chocolate oatmeal cookie with the hint of pumpkin. Give them a nine and a half out of 10. Okay, next thing, I have never had these. They're pumpkin cranberry crisps. Let's test them out. Okay, this is what it looks like, you know, just like the image on the box. One, two, three. Oh, I'll pick it up later. I love to live alone. You have to pick up after yourself. You should do that in general, but wow, these are good. It's a very subtle pumpkin. Oh, I like that cranberry too. It has just like a burst of brightness. I would give that a 9 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. I don't know. I'm not really good with like numbers on a scale. Like that kind of range, just it's hard to judge. But they're very good. This isn't food. I can't taste it. But it's still exciting. <laughs> I love that I get excited about this. It's apple cider hand soap. You already know the candles, the vanilla pumpkin and the harvest apple candles, both amazing. I have the vanilla pumpkin one over there, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Now that's something I could break the scale for. Yeah, it's, it's so good. It smells amazing and it's cheap. So get it. I have two dinner slash side slash snack, whatever you want to call it, things that I love. The butternut squash mac and cheese. It's amazing. It's so cheesy, so delicious, so easy, so easy. Oh, I'm sorry. Pop it in the microwave, pop it in the oven, whichever you decide, whichever you have more time for, less whatever. It's incredible. <sighs> okay, had my moment. <laughs> Next, the cheesy spaghetti squash casserole. Amazing, amazing. This is so good and so easy. You just put it in the oven or the microwave. You know, Trader Joe's gives you the options. Do you want to put it in the microwave? Put it in the microwave. Do you want to put it in the oven? Put it in the oven. And then it's going to taste amazing either way. So I'm giving both of these fall food items 12s out of 10. Last year there was um, a bread fall sweet incredible loaf of bread that was offered and I loved it. It was the maple like streusel something bread i don't know but my trader joe's hasn't um had it in stock and so i'm just really hopeful that it's gonna come around and um so i can pick it up and just cry about it because it's so good but this is also very good and i think it's new because i've never seen it before like new this year and it's the pumpkin brioche twist it's very good it's very light on the pumpkin taste so it doesn't get overpowering it's not like a pumpkin bread you know like pumpkin bread loaf like those kind of things it's not like that it's just a subtle pumpkin flavor in my eyes and it's brioche bread like who doesn't love a good brioche it's incredible my plan i've been putting in the toaster recently but my plan is to make french toast with it mm. I could picture that just being so incredible. That's sadly all the time we have together for now. And I hope you enjoyed tasting all these pumpkin, or not even all of them, but just talking about pumpkin food in fall time. Um, it's great. You know, we just need to make the best out of life right now and just, you know, be positive and find the good in every day because it's there. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day and that's all for now. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.